Okay, so for example, for the single ladies that go to Japan or not even in Japan, just anywhere, and mm -hmm. they're interested in an Asian Japanese guy, um, how would they approach that guy? What, what would be a good way to approach? Because you know, some women are afraid to walk up to guys these days, you know, especially a foreigner, you know, because right, you right. don't know what to expect. But how would you help them, guide them in a way of being cautious, but being secure to do something like that? in your purpose. Well, uh, it seems that you're, you're talking about a wing guy. Oh, a what? A, a wing guy. A wing guy? Uh, someone who helps uh, uh, ladies or men uh, try to get another uh, lady or guy. Well, no, I mean, what advice would you give a woman on how to approach the guy, how to speak to them as an American to a Japanese person? Well, um, I suppose you have to go to the right places first, uh, where there's a lot of people and uh, people generally uh, hang out there just to uh, uh, have a good time or uh, mm -hmm. kill time. There are places like that. And uh, if you look at the uh, uh, at uh, uh, how they're responding in public, say like they're waiting or they're just strutting around, not in a hurry, then it might be a good opportunity to just talk to them, um, especially uh, in bars uh, where uh, ladies might uh, uh, guys might come in with other guys or maybe just by themselves. You could just say hi. Or you could just say, what are you drinking? Or do you come here often? Um, just strike up a conversation. Uh, the Japanese guys are uh, in those areas very much interested in uh, uh, foreigners. And uh, in that regards, uh, it won't be too hard to try to start a conversation. Okay. And how do you say those things? Like, um, what are you drinking? Nani wo ka? Okay. And so will it be forward for a woman to just say, are you dating someone to a Japanese guy? Um, yeah, um, well, you do say that too. So you could just say, uh, a woman would say, no? which would be, do you have a girlfriend? Okay, okay. And um, so in Japan, bars are usually the best place to pick up a guy, pretty much. I guess so. Or you could just use like a Tinder. <laughs> we don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what about how would a guy usually approach a woman? Um, would they approach a foreigner different than they would approach another Japanese woman? Or is it pretty much the same? Well, I suppose guys are very, uh, as far as I know around me, uh, they tend to be a bit more cautious just to uh, make sure that they're not seen as uh, having some uh, intentions. So uh, they would try to uh, have a, a, a more serious pretext like, oh, how long have you been studying Japanese or wh uh, what brought you to Japan, uh, things like that, and see if the conversation elevates from there. Okay, so they just kind of ease on into it. But if it was a Japanese woman, it'll be more easier to communicate. Yes, yes. It's uh, usually difficult for guys to start the conversation and easier for women to start the conversation, especially since uh, women tend to be more guarded uh, in these places. Okay. And um, how would you, 
how would you recommend a foreign woman to, or what phrase could a foreign woman say to a Japanese man without coming off too forward to them? Would they just approach them like any other man? Just, hey, how you doing? What you drinking? What's your name? You know, my name is so-and-so. What's up? You know, is there any advice you would give them on how to do that? Well, I think uh, in this case, uh, um, it might be more important to uh, dress for the occasion, just to make sure that you're just looking for, to look like you're looking for some uh, romantic adventures. Okay. And then you would, uh, you might start talking to them. It's like, what are you doing? Or you, you, you asked about how to find good restaurants. Maybe you could do that on guys and you could invite them to come along. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm sorry, I missed what you said. Last time you say it again. So uh, again, uh, you were asking about how to ask for a good places around you. And you could ask that question to a guy and invite him along to uh, come with you. Oh, so that wouldn't be too forward to say, hey, can you come with me or show me this place? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine, especially uh, at a night district. Uh, that's a pretty common thing to do. Just join other people or invite other people uh, to uh, go to uh, discover these places. Okay. And you said dress for the occasion. So we should, when we go out, we should dress appropriate for meeting someone. Is that what you meant when you said dress for the occasion? Like doll yourself up, pretty yourself up, be a little sexy looking? I suppose somewhere along the lines, yes. Okay, okay. And if you was dressed down, would you be less appealing? Well, um, they might misunderstand your intentions. They might see you as uh, just drinking alone or um, don't talk to me or something like that. Okay, so the prettier you look, the more appealing you look to them. I guess so. Okay. Um, so let's see. So if I was with a group of women, do you think they would be more inclined or less inclined to come and talk to me? If if you were with the uh, group of women, would the guys be? No, more yes. If I was with the group of women, would uh, the Japanese guy be intimidated, I would say, to I come and talk to me? Just a friend or two, they might still be able to talk to you. But uh, I suppose it's easier for a guy to talk with someone who's just alone. Okay. Okay. And um, okay, so the dating thing is um, interesting. Okay, so once I ask the guy if I can buy them a drink and they say yes, then you just pretty much start a conversation off there and just see what type of person they are and just communicate. Is there uh, a specific tone or improper way you should not speak to them? I think at that point, uh, uh, I mean, there's nothing too inappropriate, especially since you're both inebriated. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, cause I do know that 
in America, I know sometimes women have a a cautious thing of approaching a foreign man because either they don't know what to expect. So um, I don't know how it is in Japan. I'm sure it's a lot easier there because they're already in their country. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. And uh, I mean, there are a lot of areas where uh, foreigners hang out. So uh, if there are Japanese people there, then it might signal their intent that they do want to socialize with foreigners. So can you tell me why in America um, it's harder for a Japanese guy or any Asian guy to approach a foreigner? Well, uh, we're very conscious of our English. So uh, uh, if there's any kind of English involved, uh, uh, we want them to be as perfect as our Japanese, just like Japanese is a perfectionist language. And we have different expectations. Uh, we try to keep up the same expectations for uh, speaking in English, but since they haven't versed much in uh, English, uh, they uh, are, are rather uh, scared of uh, how people would judge their English. Okay. And what if they were very fluent in English and they're still nervous of approaching a, an American woman? Well, it might be the case that uh, they just haven't had the, a lot of experience approaching uh, women in public. Okay. So is it, um, is it a nervous thing for them or is it an insecurity thing for them? It could be rather personal rather than a, a, a social kind of thing. Okay. Okay. But they will feel more comfortable if we approach them. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, now, if we met a Japanese person and they've never dated an American person before, is it usually, have you had the experience that there is a cultural issue when it comes to them dating a foreigner, when it comes to their families? Um, dating wise, I don't think it's a big issue. Maybe marriage could be a big, bigger issue. Okay, because it's a foreigner and not someone of their own culture. Right, and uh, either one of you uh, will have to uh, live in a foreign country. So the parents might be reluctant to have their kids leave home. Even as a grown adult? Especially in Japan, they uh, expect you to uh, uh, live together and uh, take care of your parents. Oh, okay, okay. When they retire, I guess? Or even when you're both working. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. So I know um, Asian men, they kind of, Asian people, Japanese people, they kind of stick in their own community. Um, when they're in America, correct? I have seen that, yes. Okay, do they ever, um, is that just a cultural thing that they do because they're in a foreign country? I think for Asians, it's easier to hang out with Asians because they tend to be a bit more, uh, uh, say, uh, quieter when they're talking and uh, the, I, I suppose uh, it's just uh, the, the kind of way that you talk is different. Um, perhaps the uh, Americans would uh, use more colloquial idiomatic uh, phrases, whereas uh, Asians don't have the uh, knowledge of those uh, idioms. So perhaps they just prefer to say things as they are. And uh, also, uh, we Asians tend to say things in a more guarded way just to make sure that they don't hurt other people's feelings. 
Whereas uh, other people, other kind of Americans are rather straightforward. And uh, that might be a bit of a, uh, a culture shock or they don't know how to uh, approach these uh, conversations. And that's why uh, for Asian people, it might be more comfortable just sticking with Asian people. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so if these Asian people are, are into American women and they're sticking with their own community, how is it easy for the two to find each other? Well, I mean, I suppose uh, they do, if they're in America, they will see some uh, uh, non-Asian people and they might find them attractive. So they might try talking with them. Um, and maybe uh, if the women are uh, perhaps uh, approachable and uh, easy to talk with, uh, they might be able to have a uh, longer and more engaging conversation. So what would um, looking approachable look for an Asian guy? Because I, they say American women are hard to approach. So what would an approachable woman look like to them? Well, um, I can't uh, characterize all uh, Asian uh, people um, since some have adopted more uh, American mannerisms and some have uh, kept their uh, mannerisms uh, from Asia. And it depends on, that might depend on uh, how, uh, re more, how recently they uh, immigrated to America. So their expectations are obviously different. If they grew up in uh, America, then probably they just know how to talk to uh, American people in general through the experience in uh, uh, going to school together. Um, in that regard, it, it, um, Asians who grew up in America have to worry less about approaching women. Asians who just came to America would be a bit more wary of uh, approaching women, making sure that uh, it's not a harassment or of any sort. For a woman to be more approachable, well, you could just look at the guy just wave your hand, say hi, or okay. something like that. Uh, be inviting and uh, uh, signal to the other guy that uh, you're open for conversation. Okay. So in um, America, what would be some ideal places that American women could find an Asian guy in a time like this because of everything that's going on? Well, I haven't been to America so much, so I'm not really sure about the best places to meet people. Okay. Uh, but I do get an impression that uh, Americans are more candid or uh, more frank in their mannerisms. And so any place would be uh, quite, uh, uh, well, more acceptable compared to Japan. Uh, you might uh, talk to someone, uh, you know, on at the supermarket or at the shopping mall. It depends on how you uh, uh, open the conversation, but uh, there might be, it might be, it's more plausible uh, to have a uh, conversation, for a conversation to start there than it is in Japan. Because I suppose in Japan, people do keep an ethos of minding their own business. Mm -hmm. and if you talk to strangers in public, then they might see you as a uh, as an awkward person. And perhaps in America, it's more uh, it's uh, it, talking candidly to a stranger is more accepted. Okay, but not that accepted in Japan. It's kind of like living in New York. You talk to a stranger, they look at you crazy. Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, so in Japan, do, do they usually, do they have like dating sites in Japan for people to meet? 
So they do offer that. I'm sorry? They, they have that in Japan? Oh, yes, there's many. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Now, um, is there a way for American people to meet Japanese people from a distance? Oh, there, a lot yeah. of like the language exchange websites, and uh, it could also register on a Japanese dating website too. Okay, okay, it'll just be a long distance thing, or say that person's planning on coming to America or something like that. You know? Yeah, that's possible. Okay. Um. So, what are some um? The question I'm asking. Um, I don't even know what the question I'm asking right now. Um, I'm trying to think of some dating advice that we can give American women as far as meeting any Asian, Japanese, Korean, Asian guy. Um, I suppose guys in uh, Japan will be more timid, so oh, perhaps, really? yeah, yeah, uh, perhaps the women can just uh, open their uh, uh, intention that they are interested in the guy, and it will be easier for the guy to uh, further approach that. So Japanese men like assertive women. I can't say for all Japanese guys, Maybe it could be, uh, but I would assume that uh, it would be easier for guys to uh, know uh, to know that they could that some woman approachable, if the woman already approaches them or suggests something uh, further. That makes sense. Okay. Um... I think that was pretty much all of any questions I have. I mean, it's pretty much straightforward. It's just like meeting a normal guy, just having the courage to walk up to them and say hi or finding anyone in this needle of a haystack, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, sure. I guess the best advice would be to... Uh go to the appropriate uh, gather places of gathering or the towns uh, just because the demographics are so different. And I think that's the hard part is not knowing where to look. Right, so I, I, I suppose you would want to spend a few weekends just exploring the, uh, the uh, night districts um, and seeing the difference in the demographics the kind of uh, people, the fashion, their interests. After all, uh, these uh, towns are uh, gathered based on uh, the kind of uh, uh, interests that people have. Some towns are mostly fashion. Some towns are mostly uh, for uh, hanging around, having a, 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 a enjoying entertainment and uh, they, they might be catered to younger people or older people. And so it's uh, pretty important to find out the demographics of the area and also the uh, traffic of the area to make sure that you could step there on a random weekend and uh, hopefully find people. Okay. So it's just based on the specific gathering of whatever it is that you're looking for. Right, right. Okay. And it's also very important to network with the other foreigners because they do know a lot of places. And uh, if you uh, get, get along with them, uh, they will always, they, there will be an environment where you could always ask for advice or give advice mm -hmm. and help each other. Especially in a foreign country, uh, I would imagine that they would be more cooperative than in their home country. Okay. Makes sense. Um, okay. okay. I mean, I think 
Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get you oh, off. No, I, was, I was saying I think that may be all the questions that I had. Okay. Perfect. Hang on, let me pause.